The following video introduces the three types of special functions we will be examining in this lesson. The first of these functions is called a piecewise defined function or a piecewise function. It is defined as a function written with two or more expressions and conditions. And what the conditions are is the conditions create boundaries. Conditions limit the x values. So if we look at the example to the right, we see we have one part of a function here, and we have another part of a different function here. And so what piecewise defined functions are is they're pieces of functions put together to create one defined function. Now, the interesting part here is we have to remember that if it is a function, it must pass the vertical line test. So if I were to imagine this vertical line being dragged across the entire graph, we see it only intersects once throughout the whole thing. And if I were to come back and look at this location here, where we have our closed circle and our open circle, the open circle means not included. The closed circle means that value is included. So therefore, when the vertical line goes over that, it only hits one point. And the reason why I show this is because when you are sketching your own piecewise functions, it's important to know that you should always, your final answer should always pass the vertical line test because these are functions. The next of the functions is called a step function, which we also refer to as the greatest integer function. And it's written of the form f of x equals, and you see this unique type of bracket that goes around it. Now that symbol means it's the greatest integer less than or equal to that value. And so when we take a look at the graph for our step functions, we see the reason why they refer to greatest integer functions as step functions is they create what looks like stairs, which looks like steps. And by saying that the symbol means the greatest integer less than or equal to x, what that means in basic terms is what you do is you round down. When you plug in your x value to get your y, you're going to round down. So for this step function, when I plug in, say, 2.5, I round it down my answer to one. And so you get all these bars and you see you have a closed circle, open circle. And what we're gonna find out is we're gonna learn there's a trick to graph these if we can relate it to a linear function in a way to allow us to see how long the steps are gonna be and what the distance vertically between them is. And the last special type of function is an absolute value function. Absolute value functions have a V-shaped graph. So nice little trick is absolute value, value begins with a V, so V-shaped graphs. It's a function that contains the algebraic equation with absolute value symbols. And remember what absolute value, when you perform that operation, what it does is it makes whatever the expression inside of it, it makes it positive. So that's why you see it's kind of like if I were to draw a line of symmetry across this graph, across the y-axis, you see one side is a reflection of the other. We kind of see that idea of line of symmetry, axis of symmetry, when we dealt with quadratics back in Algebra 1, and it applies the same to absolute value. So we see if you plug in a negative 1, you're going to take it and make it positive. So it's important to know that when it comes to absolute value graphs, across the vertex, there's going to be an axis of symmetry that goes through it, and your one side will be a reflection of the other. So these are the three types of special functions we will be examining in this lesson. So please pay attention, be careful, and make sure you understand all the definitions and examples before you move on.